coming to you live from the Mac Studio. It's Whitney High School Live, and I'm your host, Ben Espejo. Well, hey guys, welcome to Friday's edition of Whitney High School Live. I'm joined here today by segment producer Karen Malakon, who's here to introduce another Lifeboat Conversation. Thank you, Ben. Today we have our fourth and final edition of Lifeboat Conversations. Today we have special guests, 8th grader Angika Marari and 7th grader Daphne Hernandez to discuss the following topic. Should middle school students be combined with high school students, or would they be better off at a separate middle school? Let's look to see who will go first. Okay, Angika, you're up. I think that middle schoolers would be better off separate from high schoolers because it would give them more opportunities. For example, the yearbook committee. Um, in a normal middle school, the, the middle schoolers would have to lead their peers and do everything themselves, whereas here, middle schoolers don't even create the pages. And another reason is the stress. I think that middle school should be a break between elementary, which means like not much, and high school, which means everything. And with it being combined, you don't get that break. Thank you. Now, Daphne, what do you think? Middle school and high school have extremely different levels of maturity and development. Mixing in those different stages of hormones, emotion, age in one school is the ticket to chaos. But in the end, it just so happens to work for everybody. I say middle school should be combined with high school, despite the fact that the youngest on the campus is 12 and the oldest is 18. The high school kids benefit greatly when they're surrounded with younger ones. They sort of take responsibility of the middle school kids, while middle school looks up to high school. You could say they emulate them. Middle school wants to keep up with the cool vibe of the high school people, and the high school people sort of like the treatment they get from the younger ones. If it's just middle school, we lose our senpais. Even though they never notice you, it feels good to admire someone. If it's just high school, they lose their chance to be mentors, leaders, and can't exercise responsibility. Yes, it's kind of awkward having seniors and seventh graders at the same dance together, but all in all, we're just a bunch of great kids that can learn to get along greatly. Um, and if we didn't combine these grades, we wouldn't have that big buddy, little buddy, buddy program. Um, where a, a middle school kid hangs out with a high schooler. You know, isn't that pretty cool, man? And in the end, you never know. It might be high school learning something from middle school. Thank you. Now, Angika, what is something that Daphne said that you can agree with? I agree that um, joint schooling has perks like a big buddy and little buddy relationship and also unique events put on by the school like pep rallies and some school dances. And Daphne, what is something Angika said that you can agree with? Um, I agree with the, the yearbook um, thing that she said because I think middle school's perspective on the yearbook would be really interesting and different from just high school. Thank you. Now what are some final words you guys would like to leave with the audience? I would like to say that going to a joint schooling has benefits, but there's also a side to it where you're missing out on a lot of opportunities found in other schools. To high school, I just want to say, um, talk to the, those short kids, you know, be social with that, that kid the, whose locker's underneath yours. And to middle school, I just want to say, you know, talk more to the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and yes, the seniors. They're not scary, not all of them, and they might have some really good advice to, to tell you. After all, they've been there and done that while you are here and doing that. Well, thank you ladies for coming onto the show and helping start this conversation. I just want to say thank you again because it's really brave for you to come on the show at such a young age. You know, as middle school students, a lot of uh, younger kids are very afraid to come on and share their voice and their experience, but obviously these two young women aren't afraid. Now, one of the questions we got a lot this week was, why lifeboat? I think that the lifeboat is kind of a metaphor for life in general. You know, sometimes you get lost. Sometimes you're stuck with people you don't like and you have to get through it. The lifeboat is kind of a metaphor for life and that in order to move forward, you kind of have to have an intellectual conversation with the people that you're stuck with. And that's the only way to move forward. Uh, you can't pretend it's not there or jump off of the lifeboat or anything like that. You have to have the conversation, you have to keep moving forward. Again, we like to have, hear your part of the conversation, so go onto Facebook and continue the conversation there. That's all for today. This has been Whitney High School Live. I'm Ben Espejo. Have a great day, and I'll see you on Monday.